to have an interview with Bella Bellucci. I'm actually calling her right now. Hey, Bella. I couldn't decide what to wear. I was like, you know, this is a show about sex and relationships. Here, can you, can everybody see her? Okay. She's now so, frozen. I'm not going to go. wear much. So, <laughs> can anybody hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome, Hi. awesome. Well, you look beautiful. Thank you. Well, uh, rush, not bad for a rush job, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Bella, you want to tell us a little about yourself? Um, uh oh. We're having a little We're issue. We're having some issues. The video is getting frozen for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, it's out of there. Can you go tell them that they got off their games for five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. It's coming in and out. Sorry about that. That's okay. Hi. Hi. Tell us a little about Hi. yourself, Bella. Um, well, there's a lot to tell. Where would you like me to begin? Well, um, first of all, in case our listeners have not checked out your website, let's pimp your website. Where can they find you? It's, it's at bella-triplex.com. And I have other sites, but they all link to that main site. Okay. Perfect. 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 And there's a mainstream blog in there too. It's not all porn. I actually, I actually do some commentary and um, some nightclub photographs and things like that. So. Okay. Awesome. Well, I did look on your blog and I know that you have um, like a forum on there. Yes. In your website. Oh, a, a what now? Like a forum where you can ask questions. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. And mm -hmm. one of the, one of the forums kind of caught my eye and it's kind of what we're going to talk about. And it was, okay. um, to ask a transgender woman, anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I, anytime I start in a, in a new website or on a new website and you know this because of Cassidy, of course. Right. Um, and in fact, actually I almost wore their, their branded top. They gave me. <laughs> hot tank and it's got the little it's really sexy but i was in a hurry that's okay uh, and it matches um i always start with that question because i feel like people have preconceived notions and it's probably more appropriate to overcome that as opposed to just like spew out my story and expect everybody to adjust it all at once okay so i think we've let the cat out of the bag bella is a transgender woman and the first question we yes. have is, what age did you know that you were a transgender woman? I didn't know. I, I, when I was really young, I didn't understand why gender roles were what they were. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a lot more like I would do girl things. I would ask, you know, how come girls get to wear dresses and I have to wear this and that kind of thing. And it didn't really, really settle in until I was in my teens that, um, you know, I probably was not an effeminate man. I was probably a woman and um, had a lot of crying sessions when I started oh. puberty, you know, naturally, because sure. you're going in the right direction, um, which is cool because when you get on estrogen, you do it again going the other way and, it, it, you know, it just bounces <laughs> each other out. Um so, yeah, that's a tough question. I mean, I, I had sort of periods where it was more pronounced than others. Okay. And I finally decided to take the plunge after um, a bad relationship with uh, my son's other mom. Okay. So I wanted, he was really young and I wanted him to know who I was, you know, as I was growing, you know, he was growing up and what have you, um, as opposed to this fake person I was sort of pretending to be. And, um and the timing was just right. You know, I was with someone who I don't think cared about me as much as they said that they did and, you know, was very dependent in a lot of ways. And, you know, it just it just sort of blew up. It's not it's not anybody's fault, I guess. Right. Uh, but we didn't split up because I'm transsexual. That was that was the beginning of the end. Okay. But that wasn't the end. Yeah. Okay. So now that you're talking about that, I do have a question. So um, sure. what I know that like sexuality and uh, sexu sexual orientation is not one of the same. So just because you're a transsexual girl doesn't mean that now you're attracted to guys or you could be, but it doesn't really translate. Like it's not a one to one relationship type of thing. So I wanted to know if when you're in a relationship, is it are you in relationships with girls or with guys? 
Um, well, I'm bisexual, um, trans attracted and polyamorous. Okay. But I okay. don't, uh, but I don't consider myself pansexual because, uh, I'm not really into mixed gender presentation so much, you know, personal preference, nothing against it. Just, you know, not what I'm sexually attracted to. Um, so yeah, the answer would be both, you know, I mean, obviously I have a child with another woman, uh, I'm with the man now and have been with a string of men. I have actually had a legitimate girlfriend and god years and i swear to god they're all crazier I just swear, <laughs> so yeah those are always fun little flings but they never seem to they never seem to stand the test of time so the answer to the question is uh i'm just very open mm-hmm. okay and um i just try to see people that's you know? awesome that's awesome now can you explain for our listeners the different levels of transgender like for instance you hear a lot of terms post-op pre-op and yeah. what all that means. Yeah. Um, well, the first thing that, that different types, I mean, I'm a transsexual woman, but there are other types of trans, you know, transgender people. Um, you know, some that, some that feel like maybe they're bi-gender or they're cross-dressers or what have you. And so, um, you know, there's been a lot of argument within our community, whether or not we should call them levels mm-hmm. because it implies that, you know, somebody's above somebody else. If there's a higher. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, or there's like a succession and you go from one step to the next and that doesn't necessarily well, if happen. Well, transitioning, then yes. But some people stop at a very early stage and okay. they just sort of do the back and forth thing. Okay. And that's not a transsexual person. That's a transgender person or maybe a cross-dresser or a bi-gendered person. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it really depends on uh, the person's gender identity because a lot of the people who are not transsexual still identify as either male or by gender. Um, and I, I don't want to say that transsexuals are at the top of the totem pole, um, but that's kind of the way the community looks at it. Whether that's right or wrong isn't really for me to decide in the you know time we have. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> We lost audio. Uh, she's no, she's frozen. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I ask a question if if you can. Okay, in case you can hear us, um, we wanted to know how your friends and family reacted to you when you came out. <laughs> Still kind of frozen. A little frozen. It must be cold over there. <laughs> See, we have a frozen image. Oh. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Um, you know what? I will do this. I will disconnect and call back. We're going to call back. Okay. Having some technical issues. She did mention, and chat, if you have any questions um, for Bella Bellucci, then certainly put those in. We had some questions that we received through email during the week. And so we will be asking listener questions as well. Um, But we are very excited that Bella decided to be on our show and reached out to us. Um, because I think that this is something that not a lot of people hear about or know about. And like she said, people have a lot of preconceived notions. And so uh, she seemed very open to expressing her experiences and also educating, well, which I appreciate. Not only preconceived notions, but maybe they have no idea. Or no idea. Or no notions mm-hmm. at all, which, mm-hmm. I mean, it's not worse, but mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, it's kind of the same. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, She's, She's back. back. Yay. Hi. Okay, awesome. All right. I'm not sure if you heard our last question, but our last question was... I did. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, I did. Um, and the answer is that uh, I am come from a family of psychos. Oh, okay. <laughs> <That doesn't laughs> so it really doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Um, my mom had a hard time with it, but I think she's over it for the most part. Um my grandfather oh, oh, we're having some there, audio it was only okay with it because I was attractive so I'm not would be myself that um, you know I attracted more people okay. than I would have if I was sort of faking it you know people yeah. can kind of tell even in Los Angeles people can kind of tell when you're being something that you're not so okay. yeah 
yeah, I, I would say that my uh, social status has increased quite a bit since my since my transition. That's Which is to say, I didn't have my periods of popularity beforehand. Uh, I'm a DJ. I was a DJ back in Boston and in Florida. Okay. Uh, for my transition, so I kind of ride this wave of popularity, where sometimes nobody knows who I am. Uh huh. Oh, oh. <laughs> we've lost her again. And we have some waves of going in and out of <laughs> of good being internet, able to hear bad internet. And... <laughs> Very well known. <laughs> there she is. She's back. <laughs> there you are. Okay. Um. So. Are you in the lifestyle? And we only asked because I believe we found you on Cassidy mm -hmm. and that's how we connected uh -huh. with you. So are you in the lifestyle? Uh, uh, I am in the BDSM fetish lifestyle for the most part, but okay. um, I met a lot of cool people on Cassidy and I know that people are sexually open. Mm -hmm. So um, I would like to be more in the lifestyle if possible. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't really been out to a lot of the parties and such because, well, you know, being the way I am, I kind of want to make sure that, you know, when it gets sexual, it's going to be safe. Yes. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, obviously, I don't face any problems, but when it's sexual, it's kind of hard to hide, you know. <laughs> so uh, I, I am in the lifestyle to the extent that I feel comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. would you say that they're more accepting, more open-minded or less? Lifestyle people? Yeah. I'd say it's 50 50. Oh, okay. okay. And there's really no middle ground. Um, <laughs> you either are or you're not. Or just not even at all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. Um, so what made you. Um, uh, you also are in adult film, right? Yes. So did you just jump That's into possible. that or was it kind of easing in? This is going to sound incredibly cliche, but I needed the money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I needed the money. And it pays. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And I, it, well, it wasn't a lot of money. I mean, I, you know, I started kind of late mm -hmm. and I had a lot of competition from a lot of girls that were very similar to me who mm -hmm. not only lived closer to the valley, so they were easier to shoot. Um, but they were friendly with more of the directors and the producers oh. uh, than I was. I, I tend not to like be in that scene if I can. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had some issues in the past with um, some of the companies that I've worked with. And so that's why I went independent. Okay. And for me, it wasn't so much about modeling as producing, directing, you know, designing websites. And, you know, I'm a communications major. Okay. So, or, sorry, marketing major with the minor in communications. And so um, a lot of this was to help sort of build my mainstream portfolio. Right. Um, and a lot of it was just because I just enjoy doing it. You know, I enjoy making the videos. I particularly love shooting them. Uh-huh. Um, you know, it's shooting porn's a lot more technical than people think it is. You I'm know, sure. people think it's all fun and games. <laughs> but it's but it's still a good time. I'm not gonna lie, it's still fun. So well, yeah, maybe not as fun as it looks on camera, very technical, but <laughs> definitely a good time. Well yeah. you were talking about porn now. I'm just I just want I have to know. Your first time that you did porn, were you scared or did you have a great time? Oh, uh, I had already done cam for years before oh, that. Okay. My ex and I were on iFriends in 2001. Oh, wow. So, I mean, like, way before anybody knew what camming was, really. <laughs> uh, you know, before the Eastern European girls came in at, you know, 60 cents a minute. You know, oh, wow. back to the good old days. Uh, so. So, we lost her at soap. Yeah, I was just going to say uh, that uh, internet is improved, but not so much. <laughs> And she's still there. Maybe she can hear us. So go ahead with the next, okay. next question. So the next question, I think she mentioned being in a relationship right now. So when you're dating someone, oh, we lost her. Mm. Darn it. Okay. We'll see if we can get her one more time. Okay. And um, go from there. Again, I hope the chat who's listening right now is enjoying the information. Um, Bella is very open. And I appreciate that about her. That Here we she. Are. Oh, there she is. Okay, She's awesome. Back. So you mentioned you were dating someone. Um, is there ever jealousy issues, especially with doing adult film? Uh, not with adult film. Okay. Um, there have been some conversations about my being polyamorous. 
Um, okay. it, let's just say it's complicated. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, we'll leave it it's at kind that. Of uh, you know, I, I'll t- I can talk about polyamory. Okay, um, go ahead. But I kind of rather not talk about mine. Um, <laughs> That's fine. Right let's, here. And let's make him more general then. Sure. Let's make him more general. Just say a friend of yours. <laughs> no, just more general. I think it's fine. Yeah. Not necessarily this relationship, just in general. Uh, oh, oh. And she froze. <laughs> That's internet. I thought she was just not wanting to <laughs> she talk. She was smiling. No, I think I think she's frozen solid I like the solid smile again. that we have in the, in the freeze. <laughs> Let me try one time. Okay. I don't know. If that doesn't work, we'll have to save it for a different time. Yeah, well, we actually, just so the chat knows, she was going to come to the studio. We had a miscommunication and um so we had to do a skype call correct and which is kind of a bummer because it would have been fun to have her here uh but anyway so maybe at some point in the future right. we the will person whom you're trying to reach studio. is currently unavailable mm-hmm. okay, please okay, leave a message then. after the- okay there she is i love technical issues <laughs> <laughs> and let's see let's see Bella. if she comes up one more time <laughs> I hear, I, I hear something. I hear I don't see her though. Kinda. <laughs> ah Maybe if you guys um shut up your video like... We'll do oh, oh there, there she, she is. is. We can see her one more time. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yay. So you were asking something. Hi. So yeah, we're here. Now we wanted to know if you had any okay, advice. Okay, so what's the question again? Do you have any advice for someone that is having thoughts that they could be transsexual, they could be transgender, um, maybe they're just not sure what's going on? Do you have any advice for kind of how to explore that and how to get through that? I mean, there are a lot of resources. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of resources on the Internet. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I used a few myself, you know, here and there. I, I would say that um, the best way to handle that is to hit as many websites as you can make as many connections as you can take a look at people's different lifestyles and, you know, uh, the history, you know, we do actually have a history. Transsexuals have been around since like the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, you know, my, my, my number one suggestion would be to get as much information as possible from as many sources as possible. Mm -hmm. And, you know, decide what works best for you. You know, I think that's what a lot of people do with their careers or with their spirituality. And, you know, when it comes to their gender expression or their sexual expression, you know, it, it really it really helps to take a look from as many perspectives as possible. Mm-hmm. I think that's awesome advice. We did have a couple of questions from our listeners that came in over the week. Um, so the okay. first one was from a listener, if I can read it, Melissa says, cross-dressing. Did you start cross-dressing before you decided or learned that you were transsexual? No? Totally different. Different realm. See, I think that's one of those misconceptions. Okay. Okay. Uh, No, no, some people do. I don't think it's a misconception at all. Okay. Um, Some people do, some people don't. Okay. And then our other one was from listener Rob that kind of, I guess, along the same... The same lines. Do you ever just, excuse the phrase, just go out as a dude? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I, I'm hoping it's not offensive to I think you. she's laughing. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I heard a yes. Yes? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Her video is freezing right now. There she is. Oh, there she is. Okay. Nothing. Dang the bingo. Oh. Can I not? Can I not? Ah, ah. <laughs> That's what we're hearing. I, I don't know if she can hear us. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, something. Maybe. Dang it. <laughs> so you think you heard a yes. I don't know, Rob. Maybe we'll get your question answered. Let's see if we can get her. Just on an audio call. Okay, we'll try that. Yep. And then we'll move on with our show. The person whom you're oh. trying to reach okay. is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after. 
I do like the British chippy. <laughs> she sounds kind of like the girl that does our, our promos, doesn't it? Yes, kind of. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Oh, there she is. Hopefully she'll Just answer Rob's call. question. Okay, yeah. so go ahead. We're going to okay. get through this, I promise. Yay, I know. Yes, it was our last question. But um, so Rob's question, we didn't hear your answer, but whether yeah, you would just go out as a dude. Uh, is yeah. Definitely a big no. No, <laughs> no. never, okay. never. Okay. No, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm legally... Okay. She's legally a girl. Okay. okay, perfect. See again. That's one of those misconceptions. Now, would that be a bi gender that I, you were referring? Up. I can't hear you. Oh, darn it! Can you hear us now? Okay. Well, we want to thank. Okay. Try it again. Yeah. Can you hear us now? Go ahead. Okay. We really want to thank. Bella Bellucci, we want to thank you for being on the show. I'm sorry that we had such technical difficulties. We want to invite you back again to actually be in our studio. Um, I was telling our listeners in between one of our, you know, uh, issues that um, we had some miscommunication and we had to do this by Skype tonight, but you are certainly welcome to come to the show and I'm sure that we would have a lot of fun yes. with um, enjoying the entire episode with you. So. Thank you for spending time we with us. We will have to schedule something, yeah. Yeah, no, thank you. And are you in Orange County, L.A.? Where are you at? Yeah, I I live down the street from you. I'm in Huntington. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, okay. that's not a, a long yeah. drive. Well, we'll definitely keep in touch. We will have you on the show. And thank you for educating our listeners. Awesome. I appreciate it. No problem. All thank right. you. Tell us again, Bella, where can right. they find you? at bella-triplex.com awesome we'll see you around thanks again all right all right uh, talk to you soon all have right have a good night <laughs> bye bye all right that was so awesome well, that i was just fun. love her i'm really annoyed that our our technology, technology sucks <laughs> yeah normally it's not that bad when we do our skype calls so i don't know what the hell happened but anyway thank you again bella bellucci i hope all of our listeners enjoyed that and we got some of our listener questions answered before it broke up too bad so all right on with our show